Last week in round sailing, we took the ferry to St. John to get a permit to sail to Puerto Rico, which is US territory. Then we sailed to the island Culebra in the Spanish Virgin Islands, where we met up with some fellow YouTube channels. As we wanted to see the island, we decided to rent a golf cart and go on an island tour together with Sailing Uma. Ready to go? Yeah, sure. Ready to go. First time I drive one of these. Let's explore Culebra. <laughs> this way. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was pretty fast. On the north coast lies Flamenco Beach, which has been announced several times to be in the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. After swimming and snorkeling, our stomach started to growl. We found the food truck Tiki Burgers by the road and we had the most delicious hamburgers. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, this is nice. Greasy. <laughs> oh, yummy. So good. No. Bon appetit. You know, just, <laughs> you're screwed. <laughs> On the north coast lies Sony Beach. This beach is also a nesting place for turtles. And actually the waters around Culebra are a protected zone for endangered sea turtles. <laughs> when going back it was my turn to drive and we were a bit too heavy for the golf cart to drive us up the steep hill. So the guys had to give us a push. Good work, then. <laughs> Good job. Oh Good job Good driver. Good driving. Good driving. <laughs> Thank you. Was it fun? Yeah. Driving the golf cart? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Not very fast, but it felt fast when you were driving them. Really, yeah, not very rigid in the corners. So, yeah, it was fun. So now we're going to grab some beers and Take a look hour. at the sunset. Yeah, happy hour. All right, cheers, guys. After driving around the island, it was time to sail around the island. 
We topped up the water tanks and set off south to sail to Cayo Luis Peña. Are ready to go? Yep. A small island outside Culebra and we've been uh, all alone the whole day yesterday uh, and the night but now we're getting company sailing Uma is joining us despite the gray and rainy weather we went ashore to explore the uninhabited little island We found so much trash on the beach, especially plastic bottles and shoes. You want a Nike here, Dan? <laughs> Hells yeah! It's a Nike that's a, shoe! That's a righty, that's a lefty, I'll be good. Alright, let's go in here. Wow! Oh, we should have touched it. So, uh... Oh. Don't sneeze, guys. <laughs> so is that what I mean by unexploded ordnance? Yeah. But there are a lot of pokey things. Ah. And spider web. <laughs> a lot of spider web. And a spider web slap on my face. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but now it's going downhill. Well, yeah, at least now we're going downhill. We're not... I don't know how far you go up there. Because everything's so slow and it it's confusing. That was an adventure. But we <laughs> we literally we literally came down. On almost the same spot as we started from. Yeah, but we found a bomb. So we found a bomb. So that's pretty cool. Mm. After a super rainy afternoon and evening yesterday, the sun came out today. There is very, very light winds. Uh, but we're heading off right now. Uma, they already left, they're sailing out there. And we're sailing to the other side of Culebra, to the small island Culebrita. So it's like, uh, is it 8.99 nautical miles? Here in Culebra, all the mooring balls are for free. Uh, so we found one when we came into this space, so we've used it. Uh, but we've actually tied it to the stern, because otherwise uh, there's something strange going on here with the wind and current. So when we tied it in the bow, it was just, the boat just moved. And so the mooring ball was banging against the hull all the time. That's really annoying. So we tied it to the stern instead. And the good thing about staying on a mooring ball so easy to go. Yes, let go. And now we're good to go. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
Yeah, since this morning when we left uh, Anchorage, we have been close hauled and we have, yeah, we only made one tack. Uh, and finally, yeah, we're inside the reef of Culebra and we're uh, heading to a smaller island called Colebrita. And finally we can let go of the sheets, sheets a bit and uh, in a while here we will have the wind on the beam instead. So, perfect day sail. Pretty amazing place, Culebrita. Had a lot of people recommending this island to us. And it's so nice to just be here by ourselves. I mean, there are some people, but not a lot, comparing to other places. It's just a perfect spot to just relax and then just enjoy being on a boat and having the ocean around you. The water is, the water is so beautiful. really you know calm and nice here you can hear the birds singing and uh, there's a lot of hermit crabs some snakes and uh, goats <laughs> that's on all islands here coconuts are floating and they're floating because that's how they spread so they go out in the water and they just float somewhere else end up on the beach or somewhere and there they plant a new palm tree or it will come a new palm tree like there so I'm gonna put this guy I'm gonna put this one here and he can start growing his new palm tree <laughs> You're talking about it that, that it's like deliberate. So he leaves the island and to search for another place. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's how it works. <sighs> it's hot today or humid. Yeah, the lighthouse. So I guess this is the highest point on the island, on Calabrita. We finish the evening with dinner on Ron in the sunset. Hey, thank you for watching this episode of Ron Sailing. Make sure to subscribe and please give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Vi ses nästa vecka. See you next week.